All right, guys, we are wearing a mask yet again. We have these uh, fires in California that are becoming the new abnormal, according to Jerry Brown, our Jesuit governor, who is making way for Gavin Newsom, our new Jesuit governor, who is fully on board with Agenda 21 policies and implementation, as was Jerry Brown. So what we're seeing is fires obviously being intentionally set if you think these are california i'm sorry if you think these are wildfires out here uh, happening out here in california um you would be mistaken the evidence clearly suggests these are directed energy weapons and uh you know all you have to do is look at the evidence have some common sense and understand that if you're spraying chemtrails uh, you know, consistently and you're drying out a region, um, you're going to make that region very conductive and um, uh, able to accelerate fires that are intentionally set by directed energy weapons, according to the evidence. So um, that's what we're dealing with out here. Uh, but on a side note, uh, one thing I wanted to discuss was, oh, they put up a tower over there. PG and &E, man, unbelievable. One thing I wanted to discuss was Agenda 21 and uh, how it relates to veganism. I'm, I've been a vegan for four years and it's the best decision I ever made. Um, there is a lot of uh, talk on some disinfo pages, truther pages, <laughs> uh, basically pages that I see as trying to wake people up, but they don't want to go vegan for whatever reason. And so they have said that uh, veganism is agenda 21 uh, an agenda of, you know a part of agenda 21 so we're gonna discuss that really quick okay and we're gonna put that to rest um, agenda 21 2030 these are about sustainable development resilient cities and um, make basically under the under the guise of climate change you know, we need to cut back on our carbon emissions and implement technocracy, okay? So we can monitor all, all your energy usage and make sure you're not contributing too much to climate change, okay? Um, that is the whole thing. They're causing climate change <laughs> with the chemtrail spraying and the weather modification and the harp and the Nexrad and all these cell towers, okay? They're causing its problem reaction solution, okay? so. When you cause a problem, you get a reaction from the public and the, the public in turn then looks for a solution, government, big brother, please save me, help me, okay? So that's what we're seeing here and it's that's their modus operandi, that's what they do. But they're playing the, uh, the part of climate change um, uh, rescuers uh, saying, you know, we're gonna come in and we're gonna make, push everyone into the cities because all these rural areas are, are, are fire hazards that they're setting. And uh, we need everyone to be in compact cities where there's 5G smart grid so we can monitor, regulate, and get everyone on the smart grid. And we'll talk about how great 5G is, okay? They want everyone in the cities off their property so they don't have any property rights. And um, they want people in stack and pack housing, okay? Right next to public transit where they can radiate people on buses and trains and monitor their energy it just it's all about getting everyone back to uh, a more controllable <clears throat> means and you can control people when they're stuck together in, in tight cities and living one on top of each other okay so in order to make this whole we're coming to the rescue thing sound more believable they are recommending cutting back on meat okay they, what they do is they mix lies with truth. They tell half half truths, okay? Sounds more believable that way, okay? When you tell um, the truth, you mix in some lies, it's easy for the ignorant and the naive and the gullible to believe it, okay? So we know that meat, factory farming, eating meat, creating demand for, for meat is trashing the planet. 91% of Amazon deforestation is due to factory farming, okay? 75% of the antibiotics sold in the United States go to farmed animals. So you're, we're supporting big pharma when we buy meat and dairy. 
um, greenhouse gases more than all forms of transportation combined due to factory farming. Ocean dead zones, ocean acidification. This is from feces runoff into waterways. The gases are, the feces, the gases, the, I mean, they're polluting human health. You pollute the oceans, you're polluting human health. You're polluting the biosphere. 200 species a day are going extinct due to factory farming. Clearing land for cattle grazing and growing soy to feed to the cattle, okay? Factory farming is destroying our world, destroying the lives of innocent animals who are bred into the existence just to be exploited, castrated without anesthesia, their horns cut off without anesthesia. I mean, your balls are getting ripped off. They're innocent. They haven't hurt anyone. Also, we can get them pregnant, steal their babies, chop up those babies for, call it a delicate, call it a delicacy. These innocent, the most innocent beings in the world we're doing this to. Good people, good people who think that eating meat is just part of culture and it's what you do. No, torturing, enslaving, these things are not good for anyone. Karmically, the cycle repeats itself. The violence repeats itself. It's not good for anyone, okay? We're, we're hypocrites. We love our pets, but we do this to innocent pigs. We're smarter than dogs. They're like a four-year-old child. I have a four-year-old. She's innocent, she's sweet, she's caring. Okay, we're doing that to innocent animals. These are group one carcinogens because all meat ends up processed the second that animal soul leaves its body. All meat is decaying the second that animal transitions. So all meat is processed. If you look at the IARC and the World Health Organization, they say this is a group one carcinogen, processed meat. Again, you mixed truth with lies. The truth is that all meat is processed. So what they're saying that processed meat is a carcinogen, they're telling you, if you could read between the lines and you can understand or understand that process means dead and decaying, you have to process it because it's dead and decaying. Okay? You have to add carbon monoxide and dyes and coloring, all this stuff. So it doesn't look so dead. That's processing. And we're not cavemen where we shoot an animal and go and eat it right away. Okay? So these are carcinogens, they're destructive to the environment, and they are absolutely diabolically, satanically, demonically being evil to innocent beings, the most innocent beings on the planet. Now, if the United Nations really wanted to stop this, they would say, everyone, go vegan, we're gonna shut down factory farming, we're gonna get some investigators in here, we're gonna set up some animal rights where they, these, these farm animals actually have rights and protections, and we're gonna stop clearing the rainforest at 200,000 acres a day. You don't think the United Nations has the power to, to stop that, the, 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 these industries? They do, if they have the power to create these fires and weather and modify the whole weather in the whole world, they have the power to stop factory farming, but they're not doing that. They're not doing that. What they're doing is trying to make their Agenda 21 plan sound more believable. They're doing the half truth, half lie thing. So it sounds more believable. Okay. Veganism is about peace and love and compassion. How we treat our pets. We treat our pets with peace. We give them love. And if they get hurt, we take them to the vet. We have compassion for them. We don't want them suffering. That is veganism. That is what veganism stands for. So if you don't wanna be a hypocrite, don't wanna hurt animals, and you wanna eat healthier and live healthier, go vegan but it has nothing to do with Agenda 21 or 2030. 
They're just trying to make their stupid little sustainable resilient plan sound more believable. Believable spelt with an L-I-E uppercase. Okay? Tell everyone you know. Peace.